what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out before i get going on our video smash my like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the video turn on your notifications and go follow me on twitter at ko boxing 86 tv for breakdowns and predictions, hit my email up, knockoutboxing86yahoo.com. Don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch me live Sunday mornings with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get to it. Let's get it popping. Let's get into our video. We got another fight prediction that we're doing for y'all, man. We're putting our 536 and 94 record on the line. That's right, 536 correct and 94 wrong. Um, And this one is a six-round light heavyweight fight. Between Dante Benjamin and Jasper McCargo. Um, Dante Benjamin out of Cleveland, Orthodox fighter, six feet tall, 20 years old, five wins, no losses, three wins by way of knockout. Jasper McCargo, 35 years old, Orthodox fighter, six foot three, 84 inch arm reach, out of California, four wins, three losses, two draws, uh, two wins by way of knockout, and he's been knocked out one time, and he's won three and one in his last five fights. He is there to give Dante Benjamin a look at a long rangey fighter. That's what he's there for. He long as shit. He got heavyweight arm reach. He long, wiry, um, and that's what he's there for. Now he got an opponent that I'm very that I'm very interested to see how Dante Benjamin performs in comparison to Atif Overton. Atif Overton also fought Jasper McCargo, stopped him in the uh, fifth round, I believe it was. But McCargo works behind a Philly shell, a broke ass Philly shell. I mean, this Philly shell broke, broke. Like, I'm talking about everything getting through. Body shots, head shots, the phone. He ain't holding the phone. Bro, he hold the phone back here, bro. Like, really on his ear. He don't hold it right here to protect his chin. He hold his shit right here, bro. Hold his hold. And then he turned like this. So, he just give you his whole fight, bro. He just, Jasper McCargo ain't it. He literally just there. We want to see how you look against a tall, rangy fighter, bro. That what he there for. But Dante Benjamin, when I first did a prediction on him, I was like, yo, he raw. But you can see the power. You can see the explosiveness. You can see some shit with him. You know what I mean? He improving rapidly, though. He improving rapidly, though. And I'm I'm, I'm interested to see how he looks in this fight just to see his improvements. His last time out worked the jab well. When he got caught up in exchanges and shit with, with, with the dude he was fighting, he was real tight with it. High guard, you know what I'm saying? Bye. Bah, 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 like just firing off on by the old shit. And he showed real good power in both hands. Because the only time I had seen him hurt somebody up until last time was that straight right hand. He got a nice, nasty straight right hand behind that jab. But that left hook, that left hook, that left hand got some pop in the two, got a little thunder in it. Because he caught an old buddy with that left hook, changed the whole fight, knocked that man out in the first round, bro. It was nasty. But Dante Benjamin is one of those fighters that, the more sparring that he gets, you're going to see him improve rapidly because he's so young and the talent and the explosion and all the, the, the foundation is there. And he seemed to be a gym rat, look like he in, in impeccable shape, and he seemed to be just getting better and better and better and better. And he out of Cleveland. And, I mean, I got Abdullah Mason on this card. We'll be doing his prediction. Tiger Johnson on this card. We'll be doing his prediction. You know what I'm saying? It's... You got Jerry Big Baby Anderson on the card next week. Like, bro, it's so much work in Cleveland for him. It's so many people from that little area. Bro, it's so much. It, it's so so he can just get better and better and better and better. He working. You can tell he been working on this craft. So um, one thing that he also improved on that I want to point out before we make the pick, his patience. Got seen him get somebody hurt before and... He just looked like how, remember, we, and we're going to do an Ammo Williams prediction later, too. It's a lot of people fighting this weekend, bro. Boxing about to be on fire in April. You hear me? Every weekend in April, fire. Just letting you know. April, it's the month of boxing. But the thing about Dante Benjamin, bro, he wasn't patient. I seen him get somebody hurt and then throw a thousand punches. But when he got his last opponent hurt, you could tell he had been listening and learning. Stayed patient, picked his shots, made sure he placed his shots. And got old buddy up out of there. So I'm very excited to see his growth and development. Main thing I want to see, can you knock his ass out before Atif Overton did? 
I, I want to see that little comparison. I want to see what you do to him versus what a Teeth Overton do to him. Is your performance going to be cleaner than a Teeth Overton, or is more shit? Is Jasper Macario going to put up a better fight against you? That's what I want to see. And I'm going to say that Dante Benjamin beats Jasper Macargo. But I'm going to say he suffered a little bit of growing pains. I think he's going to struggle with the length, the first few rounds, the awkwardness, and a dude that don't really want to engage him and just want to keep him up off. I think he's going to struggle with that. And so I think he's going to win by unanimous decision. I think he'll win every round, but I think he'll have a hard time like landing that shot to just put Jasper McCargo out. Now, if he do stop him, that's going to be a feather in his cap. Color me, color me impressed. Color me impressed. But Jasper McCargo, with his awkwardness, his length, he know how to survive in that ring with that whack-ass Philly shell. I ain't never seen Dante Benjamin fight somebody that fight like that. Um, and I say whack-ass because the Philly shell is a good defense if you know what you're doing. He just don't know what he's doing. So no disrespect to the Philly shell fighters. He just, you know, McCargo ain't it. McCargo ain't it. But if Dante Benjamin does figure it out and stop him, I'm going to be impressed with his ability to make adjustments, his ring IQ, because I don't think, you know, this fighter offers things that he hasn't seen in his professional career. Now, he probably saw it in the amateurs because he's a decorated amateur, but I want to see how he look on the, on, the, on the big stage at the professional ranks. But I got Dante Benjamin, man, unanimous decision, um, and I don't got him dropping around. He may even hurt Jasper McCargo in the fight um, and end up not finishing him. But if he do finish him, I, I'm going to be impressed, bro. I'm going to be impressed. So I can't wait to see this fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash my likes up to the channel. Share the video. And turn on your notifications. And don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. And also Sunday mornings with KQKC Boxing Network. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.